Welcome. This video will prepare you to be able to create an effective search in APA Psych Info using index terms. We'll talk about what index terms are and how they're valuable for quickly finding relevant results in APA Psych Info. We'll also address what to do when there isn't an index term on your topic. Consider the following scenario. You want to know how telehealth is currently being used to provide support to individuals with PTSD. From our research question, the two key concepts that we'll use in our search are telehealth and PTSD. To search this topic efficiently and effectively, you'll need to incorporate index terms into your search. To better understand what index terms are and why they matter, we need to look at a common problem that occurs when searching. That's that one concept may be referred to by authors in the field in many different ways. Let's say that these circles represent all of the articles that have been published on PTSD. But if we search by the term PTSD, we'll only capture a small set of these articles. That's because authors aren't always using this term in their papers. And they might be using post-traumatic stress disorder, or they might use a hyphen in between post and traumatic. Post-traumatic may be two words or one word. What's more, in the past, PTSD was referred to using other terms, such as shell shock, traumatic neuroses, battle fatigue, and stress reaction. To ensure that we don't miss out on important articles, we need to find a way to capture all of these variations in our search. This is where index terms come in. Databases such as APA Psych Info have their own control vocabularies or index terms. These are a standardized set of terms that are used to bring consistency to the searching process. Index terms are tagged to the corresponding items in the database. So, Publications that use PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder with or without a hyphen, and even publications that talk about shell shock, traumatic neuroses, or stress reactions are all tagged with the same APA index term, post-traumatic stress disorder. Therefore, when we search with this index term, we'll capture a wide range of articles without the hassle of coming up with all possible variations for PTSD. It saves us time and helps us to easily access relevant results. Before we dive into APA Psych Info, there's one thing to note. Sometimes you'll run into a situation where there isn't an index term for the concept you're looking for. The APA Thesaurus is for Psychology and Behavioral Sciences and includes about 10,000 terms designed for researching in psychology, terms that describe technology, pop culture, history, or other fields of study may not be included in the APA thesaurus, even if they've been around for years. For example, if we were to search for the term Facebook in the APA thesaurus, we would get the message that says no terms found. In addition to terms that are out of the database's scope, emerging topics may not have corresponding index terms as yet. APA updates the terms in the thesaurus every few years, so until there's enough articles to warrant a new index term, there might not be one for your concept. For example, if this were April 2020 and we wanted to focus our search on the use of telemedicine during the coronavirus pandemic, we wouldn't be able to find an index term to use for our COVID-19 concept because the disease was too new. In July 2020, APA added this concept as an index term along with 101 others related to pandemics, social issues, preventative health, and more. If you find yourself in a situation where there is no index term for your concept, for example, if you're curious about the use of Facebook or Instagram as platforms for providing telehealth, you can still find articles in APA Psych Info by simply searching for your concepts as keywords. Now that we've talked a little bit about index terms, let's use the APA thesaurus to identify the appropriate ones for our sample research scenario and conduct a search to find relevant articles. Watch the second part of this video to see more. Thanks for watching. For more tips and strategies, please see our YouTube channel or visit our